Hi everyone and welcome to another Flight Deck to Sim tutorial. In this day's video I'll be hand flying a raw data ILS approach with the Toby Eye Tracker Ghost Utility so you can watch my instrument scan throughout the entire approach all the way to touchdown. Now I'm currently holding to the north of Bordeaux in France, we're in IMC conditions and we'll be self positioning onto an intercept heading to fly ILS 23. Just before we fly the approach I'd like to briefly discuss the instrument scan. So we just jumped into the cockpit and let's now talk about one of the most fundamental aspects of accurate instrument flying and that is attitude plus thrust equals performance. If you set the correct attitude and thrust for the respective phase of flight the aircraft will do what you want it to do. There's attitude and thrust settings for every phase from climb to level flight to descent, approach and go around and I'll be referring to these whilst flying the raw data approach today. Now talking about the instrument scan, it's important to remember it's centred around your attitude indicator and the beauty of having a PFD like you have on the 737NG, all the most important information is well within your peripheral view. Information such as your attitude, airspeed, localizer, glide slope and IVSI, it's all on one display. Now looking away from the PFD, important information you'll need to bring into your scan is your ND and thrust on the upper DU, remembering that you need to periodically return to your attitude as this is your primary reference. Now whilst you're flying the raw data, it's important you set the correct attitude and thrust setting for each phase of flight, and once you're established on the ILS, make sure you monitor the localizer and glide slope. You need to make sure you incorporate the ND into your scan to also check for trends or deviations from the localizer, and make sure you utilize the track up display which cancels out any potential drift from a crosswind. You need to make sure you also monitor the glide slope for deviations, and make sure you bring the IVSI into your scan and know what rate of descent is required to stay on the ILS. Our ground speed today, looking over at the chart, will be around 150 knots initially, so we should be maintaining around 800 feet per minute to stay on the ILS. So we're all set up and ready to go. I'll enable the Toby Eye Tracker and Toby Eye Tracker Ghost Utility, and you can meet me on the intercept heading for ILS 23. I'll just descend to 2,000 feet as well. So here we are, we've just levelled off at 2,000 feet, I'll now disconnect the order throttle, about 55-57% at our gross weight to maintain the up speed, disconnect the order pilots, turn off the flight directors, I'm going to make a left turn now to a intercept heading for the Foxtrot, Foxtrot 23, we'll select flap 1 and straight to flap 5, match the speed now, the aircraft will want a balloon, which is accurately modelled in x 12, so I pitch down a little bit there, a little bit too much. And we're just going to maintain 2,000 feet, watch my heading there, bring that into the scan, and maintain the flat 5 speed, there's the ballooning from the flat 5 as well, so pitching those down, retrim, and just reduce a bit of thrust now, just to help the aircraft slow down to the flat 5 speed, I'll get back to 2,000 feet. So that heading's good, we'll maintain that until we get localizer alive and look at the trend vector on the ND, thrust setting's okay because we're trying to slow down back to 2,000 feet now. And you can see how I'm primarily looking at my attitude, the blob. It's a little bit of a distraction for me. I think there might have been a way to have uh, disabled that, so I can't see it, but you can, but never mind. Uh, there's 2,000 flat 5 speed, so adding the thrust about 5, 6 degrees, about 55 to 60% to maintain the flap speed, uh, the, the bug speed of flat 5 for a 60 ton aircraft, which is our approximate rate, uh, weight right now. So the aircraft's nicely stabilised, I'm again primarily looking at my attitude, that's so important for the instrument scan, you keep the attitude where you need it to be, around 5-6 degrees uh, for this phase of flight, the aircraft won't deviate. We're now uh, waiting for localizer alive, that is a bug, there should be no FMA displays with the flight directors off, and I'm waiting for the lo lo localizer alive, speed's good, We've got a little bit of crosswind from the left, the track, the final approach track is 225, so we want that to say 225, uh, when uh, we're on final. So there's the localizer alive, so we'll just start a turn, a little bit, uh, we could do a really shallow turn here actually, because we've got that uh, a lower ground speed of that headwind component, so I'm just putting that trend uh, vector on the extended center line. There's 2,000 feet, thrust is good. Nice gentle turn, localizer's alive, and once it's in trim, so long as you concentrate on the attitude to maintain level flight around 5-6 degrees, the aircraft won't go anywhere guys, the attitude is so important for the instrument scan, just looking around, there's the 225 track coming up, just going to shallow off that turn, wait for about 223, go wings level now, and that localizer will come in, once that localizer's bang on, we'll set the track of 225 degrees. 
Next, waiting for Glide Slope Alive. That won't be too long uh, to go. We're about eight and a half miles now. We'll keep that track on 222. Thrust is about 60%, maybe a little bit higher than I'd expect it to be to maintain the flat five speed at 60 tons. Usually about, well, actually, usually it's about 55, 56%, so it's not too far off. Localizer's now on, so we're going to set 225, which is the track. There we are, 225, wings level, and I'll try my absolute best to keep the wings level on the final approach track and the aircraft uh, will then stay on the localizer. Right, there's Glide Slope Alive, so we're going to go gear down, flap 15, which is now coming in, match speed, and we'll do the landing checklist. So start switches are in continuous, recall is checked, speed brake armed green lights, landing gear down 3 green, order brake is set to 3, holding on flaps, you need about uh, 5 degrees and about 60 Eight, 70% to maintain flat 15 gear down level flight. Track's good, 225, wait for glide slope capture now. Glide slope capture, flap 30, match speed, and we'll now set a target attitude to stay on the ILS of one degree, and we'll need about 57%. The pitch and power on the Zebra mod is excellent. It, it's very, very close to the real aircraft, meaning that you know I could use my experience flying the real jet, just jump in the mod and, and fly exactly how we'd fly a raw data ILS on your licensed skills test. Right, target actually about one degree. We want to be doing about 800 feet per minute. So we're doing about a thousand, a little bit too much. So flaps, we've got 30 green lights. Lights are on, clear to land. Checklist is complete. So 224, so we'll just take that to 225. On glide slope, 800 feet per minute, we're going to uh, mirror that. So we'll just pitch up to about 500 feet per minute, add a tiny bit of thrust. Just to get back onto the glide slope. Very happy with how this is going so far. There's 500 feet per minute. Perfect glide slope's coming in. Track's good on localizer. Key thing is here when we get visual, I'll start looking outside, but don't make any sudden abrupt changes. There's a thousand feet per minute there, so just make sure I'm in trim there. Get back onto that glide slope. Localizer showing fly right. My track's drifted slightly to the left, so let's set a track of about 227 to get back onto that localizer. There's two, two, six, that'll be fine. Glide slope's coming in nicely. Localizer's coming in nicely. Ground's coming to the view, so I'll probably move my head back now so I can start bringing that into my scan too. Target attitude's a little bit high there, a little bit more thrust. Thrust is a little bit higher than anticipated. It should be about 57%, but that's because I was shallow. Nice small changes. Now, don't be carried away uh, by the uh, illusions outside. Keep looking inside for now, but then I want to increase that scan to look outside. There's the runway. Don't forget we've got a crosswind coming in from the left, so attitude thrust is good. So I can now bring the runway into my scan and keep that runway in the same point of the window. Thrust is good on glide, maybe a little bit high, so increase that rate of descent more slightly, but no more than a thousand. That's a little bit excessive there. Speed's good. Pappy's now into the scan. Two reds, two whites on centre line. Keep descending. Corrected for the cross run. Checked. You can see as I get close to the ground, I'm looking more and more outside. That's where the important information is. A little bit low. Thrust and speed's good. Continue. Two reds, two whites. Keep descending towards the threshold. One hundred. Checked. Looking outside now at the aiming point. Look towards the end of the runway. At fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Check. Ten. Close that. Well, that bubble's a little bit Oops. too <laughs> low. I was looking towards the end. Right, speed breaks up. I forgot to turn the landing rate calculator. It would have been a butter. Uh, speed breaks up. Reverse as normal. 100 knots. 80 knots. 80 knots. 60 knots. Cats the reverse. Manual braking. Yes. So the bubble it was very good throughout that entire approach. I am looking now directly towards the end of the runway, but the bubble's probably about an inch below where I'm actually looking but it's very important that you know I'm having to actually look higher than I'm actually looking but that's where you want to be looking out during, uh, during the flare.
So I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. Pretty happy with how the raw data ILS went, despite the fact there was a blue blob floating around the screen. Now during that flare, the blob wasn't at exactly where I was looking, which was towards the end of the runway. So make sure you do that during your next virtual landing to prevent you burying it into the deck. Anyway, if you enjoyed this preview, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. Fly safe and I'll see you on another live stream or tutorial very soon. Take care.